Hey, 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 guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with Fishing Planet. And, guys, we have come back to Kajino We We will return to the Amazonian maze in due time. I still have plenty of time on my advanced license. I've got until the 19th, and I'm going to plan to use this time as much as I can to try to get as much XP and cash as possible, especially XP, because I would like to get at least. Four, five, eight, well, actually, five more levels. I want to get at least to the Congo because in the Congo, you can also get a lot of XP and cash. And then getting to level 83 and back to Kaju Nori on a permanent basis is going to make it a lot easier. So I'm going to try to focus my attention on certain types of fish. I think the main things to focus on are the tuna and the marlin. Even though it takes a little more time to get them in, the XP is outstanding, as is the cash. Uh, I think the XP at this point is even more important to me than the cash. I've almost got 6 million in my cash box here. i got plenty of cash at the moment. So what we're going to do is we're going to head to what I call the Tuna Highway. Actually, the Northern Tuna Highway, because if you bring up the map here, Northern Tuna Highway, actually, I started over here at this navigation buoy. But basically, it's anywhere along this ridge. This is a drop-off until it gets to deep water. You follow right along here, and if you can see off in the distance... Try to see if I... Here we go. You see the birds? And we can even see the fish jumping. So, this is why I call it the Tuna Highway. That is the northern one. The southern one is down along here. It's actually more right along this area here. And you're going to see a lot of marlin, a lot of tuna, some high XP, high cash species. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and get our rod set out. And we are going to probably have to do some adjustments i'm not sure i think from the last time we were in the amazonian maze we might have changed a few things so we're gonna have to i would say put a squid chain on here honestly i do believe i have a few yep i'm gonna put pink one on here i want to put this i want to try this trophy trolling octopus to see what that does it says it's light but that's not an issue Actually, let's put the let's put the trophy squid chain on there too. Just see what happens. I want to try that. I have not tried it since I've had it, so might as well give it a shot. Let's see. I wonder if this rod would hold it. Actually, I think it might have been better if I put this on this one. Yeah, let's put a heavier one on here. Let's put this color one here. We'll put a squid chain on there. I think you have to put the squid chains on first. Let's put a blue one on. Yep, we do. On here. Actually, I might put a plug on here. And we'll put a good size plug, too. And on this one, like I said, we'll put the trophy troll and octopi. I have to take that off. That's all right. Put that on there, and we'll put that on there. Ah, it's optimal, so we can use it that way now. All right, and we're going to go to center. Yes, and I do have the big boat this time, because I can hold more fish, which means I can hold more XP. Let's toss this one out there. 
Let's see what this one will bring me. And this one doesn't cast out quite as far, but hopefully I've got it balanced out enough that it shouldn't matter. Actually cast it out pretty good, about as far as the other one. As you can see, there are surface fish all over the place, so no shortage of that. Basically what I do is I follow that ridge and follow the birds. That's the main gist here, guys. I think I've told you that in the, in the past. God bless it. I meant to hit W and I hit E every time. Alright, we're going to get this position in the right location here. I'll zoom in so I can see. There's the ridge. I'm going to try to get where I can actually see the fish. So we're going to go right into them. Can't really tell what's jumping. Well, it looks like they stopped jumping for the moment. Okay, well, the birds are still here, so that's a good sign. Alright, we're going to turn and follow the birds. But the birds are all along this ridge line, so that's not an issue. So here's another group over there, so we just go all the way down the length of it, turn around, come back. Easy peasy. We do have a, a fish already. We take it down and go down here and pick it up. Oh, we got one on each one. Jeez. Now, I've seen some people max out the tension, but that will really wear your rod down fast. So, yeah, you might have to fight them. You might have to fight them. But at least you're not tearing up your gear. And believe me, I had to go back. That's why I only have 5 million. I had almost 7 million. But after all the repairs I had to make, when I had gone to the Amazonian maze, I didn't have much left. I mean, a million at least in repairs. I still got repairs to make to some gear, but uh, it's not as important as the gear I currently have. But this is going to be a fight. This guy's not coming easily. I don't think it's a massive fish. It's not too huge, but enough to give me a fight. There we go. Ooh, a unique albacore. Nice way to start it off, guys. Nice way to start this off. Now, let me show you something about the albacore. Take a look at him real close here. Yeah, the one thing I think is cool about the albacore, look at the size of those pectoral fins. They almost look like wings. Each one of these species is so unique. Not that this one isn't. <laughs> Obviously, this is unique, but you know what I mean. But yeah, he's got massive, massive pectoral fins. Yeah, and see the XP? 29,682. That's even... I mean, that's a lot, actually. 122 pounds. He's not a record of mine so far, but... Not bad. We got a lot of them jumping out there, so we are not done yet. Now that was with that plug. So let's see what we can get here. We just speed it up to 4%. 4% just seems to work best for me. 5% works, 3% works, but 4 just seems to be the sweet spot. 
And I think other people, you know, I'm sure other people might say, nah, like, 4 or 5% or 6%. But I think 6% or above is a little too fast. Okay, we're going to keep going into this. But basically the goal is to just keep doing this until we fill up our hold and our hold will hold 4,409. Now the smaller bow only holds about 2,000. Obviously this holds twice that, so we don't have to spend as much time trying to catch him. We don't have to advance to the next day. That was a problem I kept running into, but looks like we've got blue fins out here. Yep, these are blue fins. Just because that's what I'm seeing jump, it doesn't mean that's what I'm going to catch, though. I think I got a bite on that one. I'm not sure. Yeah, I think I do. Alright, let's slow this down a little bit. Try not to stop it. Because they get off of it when you do that. Yep, I've got one on each, I think, again. Alright, this is a big one. Whoa, we might have us a marlin here, guys. Oh, yes. I think we have us a marlin. Maybe. I'll know in just a moment here. Yeah, I love to fish the Northern Tuna Highway because it seems like the Northern Tuna Highway has got the most variety of species. Now there's one to the southeast that I showed you earlier, and then there's another way place that's Yellowfin hotspot. I don't wouldn't really call it a highway because although there's quite a few species, it's not as many that I've seen here. But there are a lot more yellowfin there. Seems to be the good spot for skipjack and yellowfin. Boy, this is definitely a fighter. Lose that other one, daggone it. This one's just gonna keep fighting me. Several boring minutes later. Well, guys, I have fought this guy quite a long time. I had him to within like 20 feet, and then he ran it back out to 160. I'm not 100% certain he ain't going to pull it again, but we're going to see if we can't get him this time. There he goes again. He won't let me get him in. There we go. We got him. We got him. I knew he was a marlin. Wasn't 100% marlin, I'm sure. I thought he could have been a bluefin, too, but look at the XP. 10, 460. Good, good catch. The XP is not as much with the Strike Marlin as it was with the Unique Alpacore, but Cash is really good. He was a heck of a fighter for just a common sized Strike Marlin. I was kind of expecting a little bit bigger. 180 pounds, it's nothing to sneeze at, but still. Well, we haven't gotten anything that we've been able to bring in off of this one. Doesn't mean we haven't gotten bites. seems a little kind of a little frustrated because I haven't seen what we could actually catch off of that and we're gonna head to that next group of birds keep following the ridge line every time I have gotten something on both rods I think in the next episode we might focus on the 
Southeastern Tuna Highway. Now, I believe that is where I got my largest unique striped marlin. I'm surprised I haven't gotten any takers recently. I don't see anything on the sonar at the moment. Doesn't mean they're not there. Ah, here we go. A second rod again. Yep. And honestly, I might... No. Nope. Just the second one. I saw the other one go down. I thought, well, I might try that one just to see, but... Usually, if you don't see, and this is, may not be the case here, but usually if you do not see fish on the sonar and you get a bite, it tends to, it tends to end up being a striped marlin. I don't know why. It's just That's the way it's worked out. Is he going to ram me? Okay, that was weird. <laughs> he passed through me. <laughs> I've never seen one of them do that before. That was weird. Yeah, this has got to be a striped marlin. Well, this is gonna be another fight, guys. A little longer than a few minutes later. All right, guys, I have been at this for quite a while. This guy has taken it out to 300 feet a few times. But I think I finally got him in. Finally. Another big fish. Oh, he's gonna he's gonna do what that one did. Look at him. They can turn this thing on a dime at any point. Just because you think you got him in, then they run it out into the 60 feet or more in this case. Ah, Lord. He is he's gonna take it out. I thought for a minute he's going to take it up past a hundred again. Yeah, you got to spend a lot of time fighting these guys. I mean, they're worth a lot of money, but you're going to fight them. There's time investment. That's my big problem. The only problem I have with a lot of these fishing games is I just don't have a lot of time. And can't just jump in and play it for a few minutes. You gotta spend the, the, the hours. See, he's almost taking it out to 100 feet again. And you saw how close I got him in. Well. And it's gonna go out to 100 feet. There you go. Everything I worked for, and it didn't get me anywhere. <laughs> Something keeps nibbling at the other one, too. But yeah, I thought we were done. Just by the way it was acting, but we're not done yet. I'll bring you back when he finally decides to stop his second wind. Several moments later. All right. <laughs> Another almost 10 minutes of fighting, but I think we might have him this time. Like I said, he can still change on a dime. And he's still not wanting to give up this ghost. I'll tell you, this is a big fish. Whatever it is, it is big. Oh, 13 feet. We got him. Finally. Unique yellow fin tuna. Good lord, guys. I have been racking it up this trip. I don't know what the deal is. It's two uniques. Only my second unique yellowfin. Not as big as the first one I got. But look at that. 52, 344 XP. Really good XP. That's what one of the things I really need. The cash is good for this one, too. Yeah, let's take a look at this fella. Yeah, we definitely want 
to take a good look at these uniques. And a big thing about the yellow fin, obviously they have, well, yellow fins. But the other thing is, is those dorsal and ventral fins. They are really long. Now, like the albacore had the really long pectorals, they have the really long dorsal and ventral. Beautiful fish. This guy would bring you a fortune in the open market. I don't know how much they go per pound, but I bet you thousands of dollars on this fish. Without a doubt. I'll get a picture. Nice fish. I knew I was fighting him a long time, but jeez. Yeah, those squid chains do make the difference, guys. They really make the difference in catching the uniques. And especially the yellow fins and the Pacific blue fins. If you want to get the big guys, use the squid chains. I've been really having a lot of luck with the plugs here for some reason, too. Not that I haven't been getting bites there, it just seems like the bigger ones are going for that particular rod. Now, I seem to have lost the birds. My guess is since I've fought him so long, and I bet you anything, well, we're still in a fairly decent peak. Well, let's give... Let's get her moving. We might be able to... Still do alright. I don't know. We'll just have to see, I guess. Wait a minute. We might have one on there. Yeah, we do. On the second rod again. See? Even though there's nothing on the sonar, they're here. Another big fish same rod. Actually, I might grab this one, too. Just to see what we can get. No. Well, we may be fighting this one again. <laughs> Seems like I've been getting some big old fish. Yeah, just because I'm making progress doesn't mean anything. I've already found that out twice. Just amazed about how close I got those two uniques. I don't know, it just really seems like the other one's getting a bite. I don't know. goes. Yeah, I don't usually cut away unless I'm pretty sure I'm going to be fighting him for you know, like 10, 15, 20 minutes. Because I'm not going to keep you there that long. This is the gist is just to see what you can get and that you know there is a fight ahead of you. Come on, galoot. A few moments later. Alright, we're getting a little closer. We might have him. We got him, we got him. Let's see what he is. It is a young Pacific bluefin. All right. First of the bluefins we've got. Not a huge one. Still, he gave me quite a fight. XP's not great for the young one. 3752. Cash is good. 
16,538. The cash is actually pretty darn good. I think what I'm going to do this time, guys, I want to really catch something off this one. And really, I have gotten bites. But I keep getting them off the plug. So I'm going to continue going. I'm going to continue going this way. See if I can't get something off of this rod by itself. Yeah, still no birds. Also, nothing on the sonar. The sonar is kind of weird. I mean, it works sometimes, and other times, eh, not so much. I'm not sure, but I think I might have a bite. Hold on. Yep, I do. And it's decent. Yeah, I think it was just timing, honestly. And this one seems pretty good sized as well. Just because you get a small lure, that doesn't mean you're going to get a small fish. Yeah, this is only a one ounce trolling octopus. The other one, the plug, was like eight, five or six ounces, I don't remember. We've got trolling octopi that can go over three ounces. I think what makes the main difference in the size of these fish, though, so might be the trophy squid chains. It looks like a school of squid, which gets the tuna all hot and bothered, as does the marlin. This is going to be a fight or two. I don't know. He might come in. Let's see what happens here. Get in yet, though. See? See what he did? You little... He's going to... Oh, I hate when they do that. <laughs> you almost have him in and they take it out to 60 yards. Look at him. Look what he's doing. He was there. Like I said, they get a second win and then they just run with it. One minute, 37 seconds later. Alright, maybe, maybe. We got him, we got him. A trophy big guy. I know he's fairly good size, but yeah, look, see what I mean? Really small lure, big a, big old fish. That's not what I was gonna recall him. <laughs> but the XP for the trophy big guy is really good too. 12, 5, 16, 27, 7, 80 cash. Yeah, we've been actually at it real time. Well, probably close to an hour. Let me see how much we've gotten cash-wise so far. We've got 163,000. And as far as XP goes... Well, look. We were right here on the XP. We've already gone up maybe about a third. So... If I kept at this for about another hour, I could get to level 71. So honestly, we're doing really, really well, guys. I think the gist is just to keep at it. And use, this, use your time as wisely as you can, but 
Yeah, I got most of it off this 5 and 3 tenths ounce plug, the 10 out hook, with a blue squid chain. As you can see, I got a unique albacore, a unique yellow fin, a young Pacific blue fin, and a striped marlin. All of which were great XP. I don't know what the total for the XP is, it doesn't show me, that's what I was hoping to see, but obviously we've gone up quite a bit on the XP. So statistically speaking, I need to get... Oh gosh. About two, about 200,000 XP. That's going to probably be some, at least six really good sized fish. Well, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And we will be back with another episode of Fishing Planet. Like I said, I think we might go down to the southwest, fish that for a while. And I think we might do some live bait trolling too just to see how well we do with the xp there but anyway guys as i always say aim straight cast far and have fun i'll see you later bye bye